viewers, we are getting more details from the Poonch encounter operation. One terrorist has been eliminated and we have now got visuals of AK-47 rifle and magazines that were also recovered from the terrorist. Niranjan joins us live from the newsroom. Niranjan, what have we recovered and what have we found out about the dastardly plot? that we have accessed if my video journalist Bhatt can uh, you know, show these pictures, the first pictures of the Pakistani national who was, uh, who was eliminated in Kashmir. We're getting in the first pictures. Uh, Gursimran has shared with these uh, pictures uh, with us. And uh, these are the pictures that are coming in uh, into our newsrooms of the details of uh, this Pakistani terrorist. He's a Lashkar terrorist. Uh, we are told he was, uh, he's been identified as Abu Zarar of Lashkar, a Pakistani national. He's a Pakistani national, he's a citizen of Pakistan and he has been identified and this is the first confirmation coming in. This is him, Abu Zarar of Lashkar, sent from Pakistan to revive terror in Poonch and Rajouri as forces strike back. He's a Pakistani citizen and these are the recoveries made from him, AK-47s, AK-47 and a few magazines recovered. A grenade as well. Grenades also recovered. And he was uh, he was in the valley. We are we are being told that uh, he was sent from Pakistan, and we have details of his identity as, as you focus on these pictures. Uh, just blurred it out because uh, he was eliminated, and it's a little gory, so I don't want to focus on his uh, on, on his face. But uh, these are the pictures. The first pictures we're getting in from Rajouri, and and the valley of a Pakistani citizen. Sorry to call him a citizen, but he's a Lashkar terrorist. A Lashkar terrorist identified as Abu Zarar, sent from Pakistan to revive terror in Poonch and Rajouri. And this is the terrorist who was killed in the Poonch encounter. And the details are accessed by Gursimran, who broke the story some time back that we've eliminated a Pakistani terrorist as forces go all out. Forces striking back. And it comes 12 hours after the attack in Srinagar. I'm staying with these pictures once again. The first channel with these pictures access as our forces go all out, going all out to eliminate Pakistan terror. In fact, yesterday when the IGP of Kashmir spoke to Republic TV, he said one terrorist was from Pakistan and he said it was a jaish e mohammed terrorist. And they're going all out because we know what happened in Rajouri. There was an ongoing encounter and that encounter continued for several days. So this is, this is a message from our forces that they're going all out as uh, some Politicians and political parties continue to, for, to ask for talks in Pakistan. Our forces doing what they have to do to eliminate those who are responsible for the attacks. 12 hours after the attacks in Srinagar, when a police bus was targeted, three martyred, over 10 injured. And this is the response that our forces are giving, that if you try and target our forces, this is, your, this is the fate that you will meet. Uh, the full details of, of the recoveries made. Once again, the first pictures coming in, an AK-47 rifle, Three magazines, a grenade, uh, some uh, food items also discovered. The bag that the terrorist was carrying. This is uh, this is that a terrorist uh, after he was shot, and uh, he's a Pakistan citizen. Lashkar belongs to the Lashkar. Was sent by Pakistan. Belongs to Hafiz Saeed's group. Hafiz Saeed is a terrorist who's wanted. And uh, these are the details that I have. I'm going across uh, to also Gursimran joining us with the details, Ankit. I'm handing it over to you as you take it forward with, uh, with Gursimran. And we'll get a few reactions as well as how our forces are now responding and beginning to respond to what's going on. Absolutely, Niranjan. Niranjan bringing us the visuals. This terrorist who has been eliminated in Poonch was clearly very well provisioned. Gursimran is also joining us. The terrorist was well provisioned in terms of arms and ammunition as well as in terms of food. Uh, Gursimran, I believe the encounter there is still going on. There is one more terrorist who was trapped there. You were telling us a while back. What is the scene right now in Poonch? Yes, Ankit, a terrorist is still at large, though the forces have cordoned the extended area and they are very hopeful that he too will be neutralized very soon. But this is a big success. Abu Zarar, a top Lashkar terrorist, has been neutralized. He was here for almost four months. It was on 28th and 29th of August when his presence was first noticed in the Rajouri Poonch area. It was specifically in the Bhattaduria when the forces got some of the key evidences when arms and ammunition was recovered. And based on that, uh, his uh, 
presence in that very area came into being. Since then, there was an operation that was launched. But what happened in the Bhattaduria and Dera Ki Gali on 11th of October and 14th of October, in which nine of our brave hearts of the Indian Army got martyred? He was also part of that very group. And since then, a 64 days long operation was launched by the Jammu and Kashmir Police, Indian Army, and the Special Forces of the Indian Army. They were on ground for 64 days in the forest area, dense forest area, and now they have managed to neutralize Abu Zarar, the second of compliance, the terrorist, another terrorist uh, who is along with him. He has managed to skip from that area, but we are getting to know that he too has been hit and he cannot manage to travel a lot. That means security forces will have him too in a short while from now. But this is a big success because he was planning a spectacular strike on the security forces in this very area and to revive terrorism. But based on the digital evidences and the network uh, traces that Jammu and Kashmir police and the Indian Army have got uh, in the past uh, 64 days, they managed to trace him and neutralize him. And this is very important because Mohammad Arif, we know the terror guide has been neutralized some a week back in the Rajori area, Rajori Punch area. And this is the eighth terrorist that has been neutralized in this very area. So this shows that how Pakistan is trying to shift its terror base to Jammu region so that they can radicalize youth and put them into the terror ranks. But that attempt of the Pakistan stands for Lankit. Right. Gur Simran and Niranjan bringing us this information. The security forces are conducting an operation after 60 days of hard work. They have neutralized this Pakistani terrorist.